Hey there, we're picking up where we left off in the last video, so if you haven't seen the last video, there's a link in the description below. Anyways, let's get into Dot .hack Outbreak. Enjoy! Alright, so, according to our work list, Attracting Faded Ebb and Flow, that we got invited by Nuke, is the area we want to go to. It's level 52. So this is going to be Nuke, myself, and somebody else. Let's see who we got. So let's get Nuke. You want to play with me, huh? Great! I'll be right there! And let's add... I don't think we can add Mia. 51... 241 249 Alessandro so 241 is the number to get lower than we can't invite her because she can't do anything interesting I don't think she shows up yeah she's, she's out She's a housewife and she's pregnant, so she can't come. Sandro! Oh, it's you! Wait just a minute! Which we will be using for a later mission. Hey, new mail! Alright. Uh, let's go ahead and. I'm gonna do some trading. I need to get these guys up to their current level. I need to get my stuff up to higher level or like whatever equipment that I can find here. So, I'll be right back. Alright, we're back. I upgraded everyone's gear to the best of my abilities. We got a lot of that rare gear for Kite and the added effects versus what we would get like uh, skill increase wise just wasn't really a much of a, a, a sacrifice so a lot of his gear is still the same I did change some things out I lost skill drain so I don't have the skill drain gloves equipped uh, instead opted out for a more higher level thing just because it increased a lot of it especially my physical accuracy and evasion now up in the 90s which is awesome uh, attracting faded ebb and flow this is a fire area oh let's go the other guys though have some pretty awesome gear their stuff is upgraded I think it's also because in the last game it was a while since we used uh, nuke in Sanjuro so having them upgraded to more efficient gear is is a good thing all right so let's go ahead fairy's orb lots of portals out here we got some grunt in front of us taking them and now we're gonna go fight a portal there's one right here Maxwell. One dance. And then one of those ladies that we were fighting when we went to that field by ourselves. Is she? She's a Data drain. I need some virus cores. Fire drain. And going to heal. Well, there you have it. That is the first portal down. I should have done strength and stuff too. Completely forgot to do that. So I'm gonna have them start strengthening while I heal everybody up. And cast my strengths. But yeah, 
I'll be back when we take oh, on our last war on the field and are in the dungeon. Oh, of course. See you soon. All right, here we go. Time to go out to this last portal. And it's been the same monsters every time. It's always been Maxwell and the uh, witches over here that shoot out uh, earth attacks. Sandro, however, has a spell that helps with taking them out. But both of them, their resistance to earth, absolute garbage. I actually had to go into their equipment and give them, because I've been picking them up, earth tolerant armor and switching them over to that just to get the earth tolerance higher. Yeah, I'm starting to come to the realization that I think the level system on the equipment is lying. Because it really just depends on where you're at and what element you're fighting. Not so much of the level of your equipment. But it's also cool too that you can switch their equipment around so all the stuff that you give them, they still hold on to. And if you just so happen to come across a elemental heavy field that they could use, take control of it, switch their armor up. All right. Now that we are in the dungeon, let's bury Orbit. Get in here and clear these portals out. Uh, wood tolerance. So they would not like earth attacks, which I don't think I have any earth attacks. All water and thunder for me. Somebody knew they were not on the field. Flame blast. So many flame blasts. the other portal? No? A few steps forward. Here we go. You got it, skills. Oh, it's good. strength and abilities that don't last very long. Like the two that I cast seem to go away pretty quickly. Uh, so I'll cast them when we get to a room that there's a portal on the other side. Uh, 
I forgot to cast my string. those twin blades they are uh where are these twin blades and they're not better than what i currently have all right let's go downstairs Uh, 
she slowed me. So people are looking for items like that. And I looked up the like unique areas to go to in this game. There's a ton of them. There's so many of them. I need to check to see what level they are. And then go to them as our level is like in the area that that field is at. So that way we can get whatever items they have, the rare items and make them, you know, usable for our level. Unlike, you know, rusty nails, it's just gonna sit in our chest forever. All right. Fair zone. Is this the last floor? It is. There's the statue on the right there. Why did he wanna go here again? Was it for an item? Oh no, on the right, that's not the statue. It's on the left, it's the statue. It's just a thing to fight. What's he doing? He has a big empty room. I think this one just had like a big strong monster that he wanted to fight. Something tells me that empty room in the north is where it's at. The god statue's there on the left. on the grunty juice so my characters got more than they do. I think I'm one level higher than them too. So that definitely helps. But my SP is crazy. statue, see what we find. We get Ox Crest, Silver Scarab, Ivory Beret. What? It's a Fox Crest. 
It's a helmet for a wave master. like I'm in trouble against a really easy enemy, right? But that's no good. You gotta actually put yourself in danger. Do you get it? Oh, yeah. I walk on the opposite side of traffic all the time. Uh, yeah. Oh, you just thought that you wouldn't want someone like that in your party, huh? <laughs> Don't worry, I won't take it too far. Well, we did what we came here to do, so let's go home! He just gets to make the decision for all of us. Boom, that's one dungeon down. Well, there you have it. Now we got a mission for Sandro to do, but that was the nuke mission that we needed to do. It was great. We went through there. It was a little kind of struggle in the beginning, but then when I was starting to figure out how everything was going, how it was working, and what I should be doing, <clears throat> it went pretty smoothly. We leveled up our people quite a bit. Let's see. 54. I want to say they were at 51 when we started. Yeah, because they were one level lower than the area, and that was to 52. I'm at 55, I was at 53, so I went up two levels, they went up three. That's, that's great. I'm sure the rest of our party here, too, has uh, increased in level a bit, too. Except for Orca. Orca never, never increases his level. A bomb mug does, that's cool. It's gonna be a while before bomb mug joins our party. Oh, Mistral doesn't? She doesn't gain any? Oh wow, she really is gone, huh? I mean, you think she would still get, like, the... Pity XP. Mia gets the Pity XP. Anyways. Uh, that is gonna do it for me. Thank you all for watching. And I'll see you in the next game of .hack Outbreak. Goodbye.